one of the biggest questions I get asked is, when should I buy? When should I sell? It's the golden question, right? Well, today I'm going to share some easy to understand strategies to help you make smart decisions on when to enter and exit the crypto market. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up to stay updated on all things crypto. All right, let's get started. Step one, understanding market cycles. Let's talk about market cycles. The crypto market, like any other market, moves in cycles. Bull markets, where prices go up, and bear markets, where prices come down. A bull market is when the market is generally optimistic and prices are rising. This is when you'll often hear about people making big gains. A bear market, on the other hand, is when things cool off, prices drop, and people panic. Understanding these cycles is key because you want to buy during the bear market when prices are low and sell during the bull market when prices are high. Simple, right? But the trick is not to get caught up in the hype or fear. Step 2. Dollar Cost Averaging for Buying Next up is one of the safest strategies for timing your crypto purchases. Dollar Cost Averaging, or DCA. We talked about this in a previous video, but let me break it down again. With DCA, instead of trying to time the exact bottom of the market, which is super hard, even for the pros, you buy small amounts of crypto at regular intervals. For example, you invest $50 every month, no matter the price. This helps you average out your cost and reduce the risk of buying at a high point. By doing this, you take advantage of market dips without the stress of having to guess when the perfect buying moment is. Step 3. Take Profits When to sell now? Let's talk about selling, because hey, you're in this to make a profit, right? Knowing when to take profits is just as important as knowing when to buy. One strategy I recommend is selling a portion of your holdings when your asset has doubled in value. For example, if you bought Bitcoin at $20,000 and it hits $40,000, sell a part of your holdings to lock in some gains. Another strategy is to use stop loss orders on exchanges. This automatically sells your crypto if the price drops to a certain point, helping you minimize losses in case the market suddenly turns. Step four, watching market indicators. Another tool that can help you time your buys and sells is market indicators. Some of the key ones are the Relative Strength Index, RSI, and Moving Averages. RSI helps you understand whether a crypto is overbought or oversold. If the RSI is high, above 70, it might be a good time to sell, as the market could be overheated. If it's low, below 30, it could be a great time to buy, as prices might be undervalued. Moving averages can help you identify trends. A short-term moving average crossing above a long-term moving average, called a golden cross, is a sign that the market could go up. On the other hand, when it crosses below, a death cross, it might be time to sell. Bonus tips, controlling emotions. Finally, let's talk about something super important, controlling your emotions. It's easy to feel the FOMO, fear of missing out, when prices are skyrocketing. And it's just as easy to panic sell during a crash. The best thing you can do? Stick to your strategy and avoid reacting emotionally. Set your targets and follow through, whether that's buying when the market dips or selling once you've hit your profit goals. So there you have it. Knowing when to buy and sell crypto doesn't have to be a guessing game. Stick to strategies like dollar cost averaging, take profits when the market moves in your favor, and always keep an eye on key indicators. And most importantly, keep those emotions in check. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment below if you have any questions or want to share your own strategies. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.